question number 10 we are told an aircraft took off from point p 65 degrees south uh, 76 degrees west and flew due north to a point q the distance between p and q is 5400 nautical miles determine the position of q so we can say uh, uh, this is a this is a the longitude uh, so if we take that is point p and uh, we say uh, up to the equator so this is a uh, this angle here is uh, what we have here 65 so this is uh, zero degrees this is 65 that is that is the position of p 65 degrees south and 76 degrees uh, west so it moved to a point uh, Q, uh, which uh, we don't know how far it is to the north, but we know since it did not move uh, to either west or south, uh, the, the, the longitude remains. So we say that uh, one degree, one degree uh, subsends uh, 60 nautical miles uh, and therefore uh, to get the angle uh, we say this is uh, th this distance is 5,400 uh, 5, uh, nautical miles uh, so if we divide uh, so uh, theta that is the whole of this angle is equal to 5,400 nautical miles you divide by 60 nautical miles uh, so this will give you 90 degrees uh, so if this angle is 90 therefore this angle is 25 uh, so that when you add 60 and I actually we are getting the the length of the arc from P to Q uh, only that this time it is uh, along the longitude that is the imaginary line uh, of the earth surface uh, and therefore our Q is uh, 25 degrees uh, north and the longitude remains 76 degrees to the west. So that's how you do that and you get yourself 3 marks.